Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today on this rather damp and drizzly morning back at the ruin of Westwood Hall in Lawrence which is in my hometown of Wigan. Now I've already done a video on this building behind me and I've covered all the history and what it looked like shortly before someone set fire to it. If you'd like to see that video I'll put a link up now and I'll also put a link at the end of this video so you can go back and take a look at it at what it looked like just before someone set fire to it as I've said. Now back when I did the other video about a month ago Wigan Council had just put shutters up across the windows and doors and it meant that nobody could go inside. They'd obviously done it for health and safety reasons. But today those shutters have been removed and we can get inside and take a look at the burnt out wreck or carcass of this building. Now, I was here a couple of days ago, just on an unrelated bimble, and I noticed a few uh, fluorescent jackets and white helmets walking around this building, so I thought I'd get down here this weekend and take a look at it, because it is now in a really sorry and dangerous state, and I think what those gentlemen were doing, they were assessing the state of this building, and it'll probably be demolished very soon, so... I'm going to get round it and uh, document it for prosperity, and this is probably the final video that you'll see on Westwood Hall, certainly from myself. So without further ado, I'll get the camera off the tripod, we'll go commando, and we'll take a look inside the burnt out wreck of Westwood Hall. So what Potters, this is where I started my last video from, and as you can see, the scene is very different today than it was a month ago. I'll put a bit of a screen grabbing from my last video and you can compare what it looked like a month ago. As you can see it was all boarded up and you wasn't able to get in. Today the shutters have been removed and it would seem that someone has been over and stolen the lintels from over the doors and windows and they've also taken out the window sills. You know, it does make you wonder that if Wigan Council left this building up, if it would just end up being a case of there'd be nothing left here, someone would come along and even steal the dust. I have never in my whole life ever seen a building be so ravaged as this. And this is the little cottage part, you can just see there were the stairs that I walked down over a month ago where those used to be. This is leading into the main part of the cottage. The fireplace is completely gone now and this bed here used to be three stories high, it used to be up there again in my video you can see that with some bits and pieces on it now whilst I'm here and I'm seeing this bed there's a bit of an urban legend going around Lawrence that the gentleman who used to live in this cottage Mr Lillis he had died in this cottage and he was in that bed when this building caught fire. That's not the case. As you'll see if you watch my video, I went through this building and there was nobody in. So, bit of an urban legend that one, Hot Potters. I can see where they've come and removed lintels. Obviously these people knew what they were doing. This is the stairs, what remained of those stairs. And we get a glimpse into the upstairs room there. Very, very dodgy. And there is no way, just looking at this, 
Is anyone going to come in here? And basically put it back to its former glory. It would just cost too much. Make our way over there. Another entrance into the main part of this building. And in my original video, what potters, I wouldn't go up them stairs. I'm definitely not going up them now. Now one thing that this fire has shown is where original entrances have been bricked up. You can just make out there where that would have been an entrance into the other room at one time. And what we're going to do, what potters, we're going to go back out through the cottage and in through another doorway. Because I don't want to disturb anything in here. See a little chimney there, right up at the top. And it's funny when you're in a place like this, with all the interior removed, how small it looks. When I was in here and everything was in place, it looked massive. Right then, I'll head back outside and I'll get in through another doorway. And if we head through this one here, this will give us our way back in. This is one of the rooms that I was looking in from over there, pop the camera over. Somebody's been in here with a marker pen. Stating that Satan did this. I'll leave that to uh, to you, what potters, whether that's the case or not. I very much doubt it. And what's happening now is that people are just coming in here and pushing walls over for fun. I'm now currently in the part that was from the Victorian era. That's that lovely staircase. That was made of mahogany once. Gone up in flames, so sad. Do apologise for a bit of shaky footage in places. I am trying to step over rubble on all cams. And here we are, in what's probably the only room that's partially intact. Again, you can see the devastation there. But, as I said, because of the fire, you can see the flue would have gone from that fireplace all the way up, and then through that flue system there that goes across what would have been the roof and then up to the main chimney that you can just see peeking out there and you can see where they've been and they've kicked out the window frame there it's lying on the floor Now I have a bit of an interesting story about this particular room. When old Mrs K, Anna K, passed away, they had a laid out in this room, as was the tradition really back then. She passed away in 1943, I believe. And they had a laid out there under that window. And all the people from the K's houses was expected to come up and pay their respects to her. So... One gentleman came up, he was a young man at the time, and 
he came with two of his friends and they were stood at the doorway where I'm stood now and this was as far as they got, they was daring one another to go over to her as they was that frightened of her she, had, she commanded that much respect at the time but yeah shame to see this old building in this state Now somebody's had that cast iron bath that was hanging, it used to hang there somebody's been and taken it for scrap probably a good thing really so it'll not come down on somebody's head but I'm gonna get out of here now what potters and we'll have a walk around the outside of this building for the last time because I think come next week this is not going to be here Proud someone's now had that fireplace. I really am. This is the old pantry area. And somebody's had all the slates off that roof. And then through here is what would have been a little shower area for Mrs. McAvoy when she became incapacitated. And she was struggling, they made her this. There was a toilet underneath all that rubble. And it was done by a, a local builder. Mrs. McAvoy used to always use local builders and local people to do all the jobs. And there's a fellow by the name of uh, Bill Silcock who I did a little stint with when I was serving my time as an apprentice bricker. He was a right character, I can tell you. We're going to get out of here now and uh, take a look around this place. Now this here at Potters, just before we go around the front of this building, is all that's left of that barn that I was stood in. Someone set fire to that and then pushed that over. And it does make you wonder just how much punishment this building can take make our way through this overgrown garden this was a lot lower the last time I was in here and here's what it looks like now big sign on the front there that says dangerous building keep out Right then, Hot Potters, I think I'm going to head back out of this overgrown garden and wrap this video up. Right then, Hot Potters, that'll just about do it for today, I think. I'm going to head off home now and I'm going to edit up all this footage ready for your edification. I hope you've enjoyed today's little video and taking a sneak peek inside the burnt-out shell of Westwood Hall. Such a shame to see a grand old building, as I said in the previous video, that's been here for over 300 years in such a sorry state and I think it's about time that Wigan Council came over here with a bulldozer and put it out of its misery because it is in a very dangerous state. Anyway, I'm going to head off back home now so until the next time from myself, Mr H it is, bye bye for now. I'll leave you with a closing shot of what's left of Westwood Hall. <laughs>